Welcome my friends and thanks for joining me today. I'm Lorna Schumann from the Illinois State Museum and today we're going to talk about the difference between pet and wild animals. So my first question to you is how many of you have pets? I have pets. So I want you guys to show me with your fingers how many pets you have. So I have three. I'm sure some of you might have one or two or three or more. You might need both hands for some of you, but some of you might not have any pets and that's okay. You can just do a zero like this. So everybody show me. Now here's the important question. Our pets live with us and we have to take care of them in order for them to live and survive. So what are some things we do for our pets? What do you think? Put on your thinking caps and think for a moment. I bet you can think of them. If I say something that you thought of, I want you to raise your hand for me, okay? So some of the things we do for our pets is we feed them, we give them food. We also make sure that they get water, right? Those two are so important. But guess what else? We also provide a safe place, a shelter, for them to live. Here's something else I bet you do with some of your pets. You play with them. How many of you play with your pets or you take them on walks or you create little toys for them or little games with them? That's important. We also find ways to give them exercise so that they can stay in shape, so to speak. And you know what else we do? We take them to the vet. Sometimes just for a checkup, like you go to the doctor, but sometimes it's because they're not feeling so well and they need to get better. So those are some things that we do for pets. Well, my friends, wild animals are really different. Wild animals don't need us to give them food. They don't need us to give them water. They don't want us to play with them or take them for exercise. And they definitely don't want us to take them to the vet. They know how to do all these things themselves. They can take care of themselves, and that's something that's really important. And it's important to know. So here, you can see some of our wild animals that we do have. I have a fox squirrel that you might see in your yard, a turtle that you might also see around lakes or rivers, and here, a beaver. This is only the skin of a beaver, not a full beaver. But you get the idea, those are wild animals. They're not our pets. And it's really important when we see wild animals that we not feed them, that we not try and take care of them. They are scared of us and we need to give them space. So if you see a wild animal, don't approach it. If you do, it's gonna do one of two things. It's gonna run away or it's gonna get scared and it might attack you if you're too close. Just to tell you, go away. Most of the time if you give them space, they'll take off. So we should never approach them. We need to just watch them from a distance. And if a wild animal is hurt, you should always get an adult. The important thing to know is that our pets and our wild animals are different and require different things. Our pets need us to take care of them in order to survive. Wild animals, they know how to take care of themselves. So thank you for joining me today, and I hope you remember that when you see a wild animal, don't approach it, don't feed it, and if it's hurt, get an adult to help you. Thank you, my friends. Take care, 